Hey Westbrook, so because this is how I like to do things, I'm going to do the same for you. This is a video about the first day of school and what things will look like and in the email are bullet points that you might want to refer to if you're like, I can't quite remember what she said about that. I just, that's how I work. I think it's nice to hear it, the why, and then I'll give you the bullet points after. So first day of school is tomorrow and it is a big, exciting day. It's extra big and exciting because that represents the ribbon cutting for Westbrook Elementary, our grand opening. So the plan is as follows. There will not be any parking in our parking lot. You're gonna to have to walk or find a spot on the street. Our parking lots are gonna be saved for the several very important people that are coming to the cer ceremony and staff. Um, so we will have those coned off. We are gonna open the gates at 7.15 for families to come. I'm not encouraging you to come that early um, because the ceremony doesn't start until eight, but if you would like to come early, you're welcome to. Uh, um, there's just no rush is what I'm saying. They It just allows so that people can kind of filter in versus everybody come at once. Um, there will be a photo booth for pictures. There's going to be a red carpet for the kids to walk on as they enter. There is gonna be band and cheerleaders and lots of excitement as they come in. Now. So whenever you arrive, if you could please have your child to their classroom by 740. Now I said, if you could have them to their classroom, all I mean is you send them off to their classroom. You don't need to walk with them. Um, they're gonna go and just get settled with their teacher for a couple minutes before the ceremony, okay? So 740, they need to be at their classroom door. Their teacher will be there to greet them and the teacher will walk them through some things. If you would like to come to the ceremony, which you're absolutely invited to do, you're gonna come, you're gonna wait in our quad area in the cement area around the grass. We're gonna have the kids sit on the grass and um, with their classes in the middle and watch the ceremony. So again, you're welcome to stay, but you won't be walking your, your students to their classes. That being said, kindergarten and transitional kindergarten families, your teachers are gonna give you specific instructions for you. Okay, so this is grades one through five. So um, the kids are now at their classroom 740 and then everyone is going to come to the quad area and be ready for eight o'clock start time for the big ceremony where we'll have a couple speakers, we'll cut the ribbon, we'll say thank you to all the wonderful people who have helped make this place incredible and then uh, everybody will be on their way. Okay, so that is just for tomorrow, the first day of school and then we'll get back to a little more normal we don't have normal yet, but we'll create it starting Friday. And I do want to tell you something important for Friday. Friday's drop off. Cars, if you're driving, you're going to come through the front loop and you need, you cannot get out of your car. We will have people to help your children get out of the car, but we can't have you get out of the car. No stopping, no, you have to move forward as far as you can. The flow of traffic in the morning is dependent on all of us following those rules. And I will send you many reminders. There are no cars on the side, which is blue spruce, the Bruce, blue spruce, oh my gosh, say that three times fast. Blue spruce on the side, that's our bus loop. There are no cars allowed in that bus loop. Children may walk in and walk out but no cars on that side, okay? So we're gonna learn this together. I just wanted you to know what to expect on Friday and what to expect tomorrow on our big day. So we, cannot, we can't wait to see you. I've been waiting to have kids in the seats in these classrooms and it's tomorrow, I can't believe it. So you have a wonderful night, get lots of rest, get those kids packed up and ready to go and uh, be ready for tomorrow. Have a great day, Westbrook.